We're going to set up the LR8 or the, the Liberator Rugged 8 device today. There are quite a few vocabulary files on this device at the moment. We have Word Power open, but we're going to be looking at Lamp Words for Life today. I pressed my menu button and then I've gone to the, the library so I can change over to Lamp. I'm going to scroll down. I can see here that my three variations of Lamp Words for Life are in the library. Each of them will have a padlock next to them, which is telling me it's the original file. I want to uh, make a copy of the original of Lamp 84 Full, so I'll press it. I'll press Duplicate. I'm going to put a number at the start. The number will make sure that my customised vocabulary file appears at the top of the screen. I'll then just put my name there so I know this is my file and then I'll press save. My file will then appear at the top of the screen. I can open it now and begin making changes. I'm currently running software version 2.28. You'll notice if you're a pre-existing user that our menu has changed. To access the menu, I press my menu button as always. The menu will now appear on the left hand side of my screen. So I can change a few settings just to make my device customized. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the voice that I've got for this device. To do that, I can go to the settings, I'll go speech output and voice, synthesizer. I'm going to choose the acapella synthesizer. There's quite a few Australian voices on here. Voice settings will give me the option to change between different Australian voices. You can see here you've got quite a few. Look for the name and the AUS acronym next to it for the different Australian voices available. Once you've finished changing the pitch and the rate, you can test the voice. Hello, my name is Liam, a child male English voice from Macapella. And then press save. I'm going to go back. Go back. Okay, I'm back in my main menu now. The next thing I can do is change some of the visual effects on this device. To do that, I'm going to press input. Next, I'm going to go to tilt. At the moment, when I turn the orientation of my screen, it will change between portrait and landscape. Um, I want to keep it in landscape so it's locked there. So I'm going to press action no action. This will stop my screen from tilting when I move my device. I might also want to have um, increased visual feedback when I press a button. So for example, a button might turn bright red and be magnified when I press it. This is helpful for some users. To get this setting working, I'm going to press button, press draw and select visual effect. When I scroll down, I can see that I now have the visual effects menu. Outline means that the button will have a red outline when I press it, and that is enabled. I'm going to tick translucent overlay so that the button when I press it will turn any color I want. In this case, I'm going to make it turn red. I can also make the button appear slightly larger when I press it by ticking magnify. We can see here the button will get 20% larger than what it normally is when I press it. That's okay. I'm going to go back from there and go back. I'll just show you what that looks like now. So when I press a button, it will go large and red. Okay. You'll also notice I have some um, navigation icons in the top right hand corner. Um, I don't feel like I need these as I know that each button I press on my home page will take me to a subsequent layout in LAMP. So in order to turn this off, I'll go back to my settings menu. I'm going to go to style. Um, after that, 
I'm going to find navigation icons and I'm going to press the minus button down to zero. So my navigation icons will now be gone. You'll also notice that the buttons um, are gray or they have a slight shadow to them. If I want to turn this off, I can disable gradient fill. If you are currently using the Lamp Words for Life app and you would like a grid to appear on your home screen, you can press show grid in order to enable this. Okay. The other setting that I might consider changing is the size of the text that appears in my speech display bar. This might be important for people who require larger text in order to read. I can go style, font, font size, and I can increase it using the plus sign here. Okay. So a few extra settings that we'll go through now um, will be the edit function on my device. So in order to edit any buttons, add or modify them, I'll need to turn edit mode on first. To do this, I press my menu button and then edit mode. Okay, so it can be helpful to have um, slightly larger icons with less of a border around them. To change the border width of my icons, I'm going to hold down any icon on my page and press button style override. The override just means that it will change every button in uh, my lamp file. I'm pressing vocabulary so that all of the buttons in the vocabulary file will be changed. I'm going to tick the border width because this is the setting that I'm changing and then press the minus button. Now I can see that the surface area of my button has become slightly larger because I've decreased the size of my border. I'll press save and as you can see I don't have as much of a border around my buttons anymore. If I want to change the colour of the background that can be helpful especially when the vocabulary builder is turned on and I want my buttons to stand out against potentially a dark black background. I can do that by pressing my menu button, making sure edit mode is turned on, holding down any icon, pressing page style override, press vocabulary, background color, color, and selecting the black square up here. I'll press save. So as you can see here, my background has now turned black. It looks quite nice when I um, have fewer icons on the page, they'll stand out a bit more. Okay. I'm gonna turn edit mode off. Just to show you, this is how my page looks now quite a bit different from how it looked at the start of this video. We'll be making other videos about the vocabulary builder, how to lock the menu, and also how to back up your device via USB.